rather than insisting that all the molecules be in the left half of the container suppose we only require that they be in the uh, leftmost 99% uh, which means there's 1% empty what is the probability of finding such an arrangement if there are 100 molecules in the container okay so let's start with this uh, n equal 100 molecules well uh, we know that uh, the multiplicity uh, is given uh, in your book uh, by equation uh, uh, for for an ideal gas. Uh, uh, that is. Uh, equation 241 so that's a function of energy volume and uh, uh, number of molecules some function of n v to the n u to the 3 n over 2 okay um, so n is the number of molecules u is the total energy total kinetic energy of the gas molecules and v is the volume of the container uh, so in this case uh, uh, we reduce the volume of the container to 99 percent of its original size so uh, v2 in our case will equal to uh, 0 0.99 v1 that's 99 divided by 100 v1 okay uh, so uh, now our new multiplicity will be uh, fn this will not change since we didn't change the number of molecules and now we have uh, 0 0.99 v1 uh, to the n and then uh, u to the 3 n over 2 and so we know that the probability that the molecules are in 99 percent will just be the ratio between the multiplicity of this arrangement divided by uh, the multiplicity of the total and so uh, the probability will just be this over the multiplicity all and uh, this is just uh, uh, all means if the molecules would have spread in 100% of v1 so this would be v1 to the n and uh, the rest of the terms cancel because they are volume independent and uh, so we get uh, p probability is equal to uh, uh, you can see I could I could cancel this v1 put them under the same power so this would be 0 0.99 to the n okay so now if in the first case if n is 100 uh, so probability of 100 I just replace n by 100 uh, and uh, uh, let's plug this in uh, you get 0 0.366 and uh, if n is 10,000 was it 10,000 the second one okay so if it's 10,000 then we get p of 10,000 to be uh, 0 0.99 to the 10,000 
2.25 times 10 to the minus 44 and uh, if n uh, the last part it says if we have uh, 10 to the 23 molecules uh, then P of 10 to the 23 being a 99% of the volume will be uh, I don't think a calculator will be able to pick this up this is very large number we would have to do Sterling's approximation uh, if we want to do that um, right uh, yeah it's gonna be a very very large number and uh, uh, the point is as the number of the molecules goes up uh, the less likelihood uh, the much slimmer of, of a probability uh, that uh, we're gonna see uh, all the molecules uh, 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 in uh, the 99 percent of the container while leaving one percent empty uh, just because the more molecules there are the more the more the likelihood that they will spread throughout the volume of the container uh, uh, much more evenly that does it